Welcome back to the show. And you know what? It's definitely Rashid's day today from reading we move along to rugby. And with us Rashid's on the set... Rashid's rugby reading. Yeah. Rashid's reading rugby. I know, the reading rugby player. Anyway, we've got um, the Bintang Rugby Club uh, with us today, and they're all passionate about developing uh, young rugby players and uh, you know, uh, in Malaysia especially. And joining us here on the show, we've got uh, Muhammad Tamizi, who is uh, the under-15 coach and committee member. We've got um, Pravindran, who is a parent and also a committee member. Good morning. Good mo and then uh, we've Toby, got... Toby, Imran and Ted. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's so much simpler. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Okay. Thanks for having us. Yeah. It's our pleasure. Right. The first question would be, uh, tell us a little bit about the Bintang Rugby Club and, uh, and how it serves, obviously, uh, uh, youth development in, in, in Malaysia. Um, Bintang Rugby Club, I mean, uh, we've uh, started the club. It's five years now, mm -hmm. right, officially. And uh, we uh, profess uh, rugby for all. We welcome everybody, uh, any age, um, any, well, I mean, from yeah, yeah, any, rugby yeah. playing age, yeah. you know, from uh, <laughs> 7 to 18, right, even uh, below 7 as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it's a free club as well. We don't charge anyone who wants to come and play for us. You play with us, we give you free kids, we give you stuff because we want to make rugby available for all. All right, so it's not about, oh, you know, you've got to try outs and if you're good enough, you can join. So it's open to just yes, everyone. Yes, it is, yep. yeah. All right, do you have girls too? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you yes, do. You have a little Ah, yeah. see, I knew you'd ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. I'm asking. Okay, that's fantastic. It's been around for five years. Now, how many members do you have so far? You roughly have uh, more than 250 registered players. Uh-huh, and active members? Uh, active players at one time, we have around more than 100 at the pitch. Wow. Every Sunday, mm -hmm. right? So, and then every, every training, there's uh, new uh, players coming in. Mm. wanting to join us we are quite uh, quite uh, well liked on facebook yeah <laughs> how many likes how many likes <laughs> a lot of likes <laughs> now let, let's likes. let's go to uh you just mentioned you now uh prev about um the ages between seven and eighteen obviously yeah. there are different categories of yes. ages uh yeah. for in terms of uh, um the uh, rugby itself uh tell us a bit more about what categories there are and uh how is it formulated in terms in terms of parents being coaches and coaches uh, coaching the, uh, the the kids? Um, we start uh, actually we have uh, under under eight right and under six as well right mm -hmm. and we go up uh, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 right. Um, uh, it is run by the parents mm -hmm. right uh, and uh, also dedicated uh, parents as well. Some some of the kids have graduated but they still come back and coach the kids. Mm. But what we make sure is we make sure um, the coaches and the parents are actually certified by IRB. Right. right. They have to go through for training and then they can impart the knowledge to the kids in a proper structured manner. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have something called a pathway uh, where the coaches actually um, uh, impart their knowledge throughout the age group so as the kid grows to every age group they learn different things that takes them through uh, towards a, a successful rugby career mm -hmm. we've actually got two of our boys who are playing um, in uk at the moment All right. right yeah who've graduated and uh, two more boys have been uh, accepted to play in uh, new zealand as well oh that's great yeah in hamilton boys school right yeah. uh, i've noticed obviously on, on your on your jerseys that uh, there's an association with uh, a famous rugby club saracens Tell us a bit more about that as well. Well, Saracens are the English Premier League champions. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'll be just, just, yeah, actually, I, I would beg to differ. But anyway, we're not talking about rugby differences, club differences here. <laughs> and, um, you know, um, they, they are our official club partner. Mm. And um, uh, what's really good about them is uh, we actually... Uh, uh, get sponsors to bring their coaches down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, we host them down and uh, they, they impart their knowledge to the kids, they go through a program and we take these coaches to the local schools as well, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just not about us, we want um, the bigger rugby population in, in Kuala Lu in the bigger Klang Valley or even in Malaysia because mm -hmm. we've taken the coaches even up to Alostar mm -hmm. to train right, uh, right. kids there and, and uh, it, it's been very good for the club. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, how about for the members? Uh, let's ask um, you guys. Uh, so Toby, you're, um, how long have you been with um, the Bintang Rugby Club? Um, I've been with Bintang oh, since they started five years ago. Wow. So what, what, were you, what were you, six, seven? Yeah, six. Right. Okay. Now you're what, 18? <laughs> that's why he's a TV right. host, he's bad at math, yeah. right? No, that's why I must come up. We just <laughs> but what do you like about Bintang? Well, I like the fact that it's parents running it. 
mm -hmm. not people who are paid to do it, and people who are actually passionate about the game mm -hmm. as well. Okay. All right. And uh, Imran, for you, um, you know, rugby has always been an, an interest of yours, or was it like a mum or a dad who actually encouraged you to try it out? Uh, it's an interest. Mm hmm. Okay. So I like you when I'm really small. Yeah. You, okay. So how long? How old were you when you joined? Well, just came up like one year old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Had to nine. Think. Nine. What position do you play? Hooker. You like being being playing playing as a hooker? Yes. Or do you like being with the forwards? <laughs> Are you a big boy compared to the other boys that you? Are, or, not really. Not really. Yeah. That's why you're playing hooker. <laughs> Are you it saying that you're not though. talented enough to play in the backs? <laughs> no. Okay, no. We'll, we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> so never talk to us, come up. Now, Ted, um, uh, what about you? How, do, how were your experiences? Um, it was a good experience. I started when I was seven, and I joined the Cobrats, and I played with um, a lot of people. It was a really good experience because I met like a lot of new friends. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you guys find that a lot of your friends are now like rugby boys, or do you... Does it help you talk a lot more? Because, you know, obviously with different sports like football, you tend to argue a lot. But do you, do you tend to have a lot more discipline? You learn a lot more about discipline and, yeah. and yeah. how you speak to older people and all that. Yeah. yeah. What kind of stuff do you learn? Well, I, start, I actually started off playing with TJ and Imran and a couple of their players mm -hmm. because there wasn't an age group for me. Mm. So I know quite a lot of You couldn't figure out what age you were? Or <laughs> 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 no, go, go, go. No, no, so I know quite a lot of them. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's quite good. Mm. Oh. Okay, that's cool. And now uh, you also have a, um, a tournament, um, an annual tournament um, that's coming up. Would you like to tell us a little bit about that? Yep, uh, it's one of the biggest tournament, junior tournaments in Asia. We mm -hmm. host about 2,500 kids from around the world. Mm -hmm. um, I think we have 120 teams, 130 152. teams. 152 around, around the area. And yeah. so you've all taken part in the yeah. tournament yeah. numerous yeah. times. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. we have. Yeah. And it's a tournament that attracts people from um, as far as the Middle East to come and play in yeah. Malaysia. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a logistical nightmare for many of us, but it's fantastic. <laughs> you know, the, yeah. the kids really go out, they have fun. It's two days of great rugby for the kids, and it's fantastic. It's a where, great tournament. Where and where um, uh, it will it be? We held, held it the first time last year. In, uh, sorry, it's the si fifth time this year. It's going to be held at Bukit Kiara uh, Equestrian uh, Club in yeah. Bukit Kiara. And yeah. what's, what's the date of the uh, third March? Uh, 2000, uh, 2013. 2013. Yeah. Yeah. So, for, for, for obviously for up and coming budding uh, sports kids or who want to try rugby, I suppose this is the best time to join them. Uh, where can, how, and where can they uh, look up for look up for Bintang Rugby Club? Uh, they can visit our website bintangrugbyclub.com, right? Or you can actually uh, come to training at Padang Astaka yeah. three to five every Sundays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every yeah. Sunday, three yeah. to five. Ah, okay. Yeah, the best pitch in in, yeah. in the best <laughs> rugby pitch, <laughs> the best rugby pitch in Petaling Jaya with its lovely lawn uh, fields. <laughs> you forgot the grass. The grass. <laughs> uh, oh, that, that's what I meant. Uh, so, um, in in terms of uh, um, their progression from uh, through those ages, um, obviously. You will have it's a mixture of uh, local and, and, and foreign boys yeah. that, that yeah. get. In. How do they? Uh, and what other competitions do you play? In if you, you've got different categories, obviously you've got that one big tournament. But yeah. obviously they will need games when they when they do. Do they play against each other? Or do, um, are they against other schools? Um, be, uh, we get we get a lot of invites from schools. We play in a lot of tournaments. Uh, we have a lot of friends in schools, uh, in the primary schools, in the secondary schools. Right, uh, per year we get more than 20 invites. Uh, like uh, these two months alone, these two months alone, we have every week, every weekend, the tournament playing. We just completed the uh, Star Tens mm -hmm. uh, last weekend. Oh yes, so you see all of them got burns. Yeah. Yeah. Sunburns. <laughs> yeah. So under f under what? That's under 13 under and 13. under 14. Yeah, under 14. So uh, the uh, under 13, we won the plate finals. Right. Uh, the under 14. Uh, we won the cup championship. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, next week we're gonna have this uh, Allied Fifteen, yeah. right? Fifteenth and fourteenth uh, tournament. Yeah. Twelve teams from all the good schools or the, the best schools, yeah. right? Good schools, best schools of all our friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're gonna compete in a fifteenth tournament mm. held in uh, KTJ Mountain. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 
Kalau uh, Tengku Jepang yeah. nah, And so the Yellow Pickford uh, tournament is mm. also uh, organized by us mm. Yellow Pickford are one of our biggest sponsors right. Yes, I was going to touch base on that I mean, obviously you said right at the beginning that you know There's no anyone, membership fee There's no membership mm. fee You, you, you yeah. hand out jerseys Obviously there's cost involved In yes, terms of sponsorship, how, how do you guys gather that? Um, it's uh, it, we've been, We are very lucky We've been having very good sponsors, right? Uh, it's challenging because as the club grows um, You know, we, we want to improve uh, We brought some All Blacks coaches down uh, last uh, this early this year mm. um, which was very good for the kids and we want to do it again uh, we totally depend on our sponsors right mm. Mm. and uh, it's it's uh, it's not the easiest right but we have to yeah. work on it uh, yes. all our tournaments like I like Pickford sponsors this mm -hmm. this league right mm -hmm. which is good for us mm -hmm. right because all the, the top schools come we've got to get a Singapore team to come for this as well right so it uh, works out well um, Yes, it's, uh, it's, even though we do it for free, we still need money and yes. um, it's hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. As in most, uh, what we call, my, my, I suppose, minor sports here. Now, um, we've got questions. Yes, question. we do. We actually have it's questions for the kids. It's a $20 billion dollar question from Aisha. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, you've had the opportunity to train with some of the coaches from really big teams all over. Do you have any favorite teams or, or countries do you support? Um, um, Toby? Say country, we're not going to say clubs because <laughs> you're being biased. You're yeah, you, well, you have to say yeah. the yeah, Saracens, right? So country maybe, what's the... Um, England. Okay, that's Are country, your parents right. like Scottish, Welsh or... English. English, okay, that's all right. Then. <laughs> yeah, Just course, checking because, right? you know, if you have a Scottish yeah. dad then you'll be like England or Scotland. You, you'll be forced yeah. to like figure out which yeah. one. <laughs> don't, don't say Scotland because... <laughs> We've got a young boy who used to play the Cobras who's now in the Sc Scottish uh, rugby team. Did you know that? Yeah. Right. Anyway, moving it on. <laughs> Even, how about you? What's your favourite um, uh, country? New Zealand, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you watch the game uh, on Saturday? Yeah. Against South Africa? Yes. Who's your favourite player at the moment? Richard McCall. McCaw, but he's retiring. Right. <laughs> South Africa. South Africa. Yeah. Oh, hard luck. <laughs> <laughs> and who, who's your favourite player? Brian Nabana. Why, why, why South Africa? I don't know. Ah, got to figure that out as you get older. Eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so do you think um, you guys will continue playing um, rugby? So right now, I don't know, would it be like a, a goal or an ambition to actually play for a team professionally? Yeah. Yes. yes. Definitely. So you'd want to play for... The, um, any particular team? Oh uh, yeah, my home team in Bristol. Mm -hmm. I play for Bristol Rugby, maybe. All right. They're yeah, right. <laughs> oh well, when Lester's. Toby joins, yeah. they'll be different, right? <laughs> what about you, Imran? Any thoughts of like representing? Uh, Malaysia. Yeah. And how old are you now? Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. So you're already playing under fourteens. Yeah, on, under thirteen. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, certain age. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting. So you want to represent Malaysia? Have you? Um, what about well, in terms of uh, s the s state coming in to scout? Do they come in to have a look, and or is there a system that the, the state teams, I, the state scout team, if there are such things, they, they come in and have a look at, at, at your boys? Yeah, they come. Uh, some of our players, right? Mm -hmm. uh, last year they played in the national uh, schools championship. We got players playing there. And yeah, we are fortunate. We are fortunate, and we are very proud of them. Yeah, uh, that they are representing the club in their their state. Yeah, we, uh, I think uh, last year we had six of our boys yeah, who played yeah. for various states. Right. Yeah. yeah. Under That's thirteen and under sixteen. Yeah. Now, the most yeah. important last question I'm going to ask you boys, because mm -hmm. I'm not going to ask the adults. Uh, what rugby songs have you learned? Have you learned any rugby songs? <laughs> 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 uh, it's okay, Rashi will yeah, organize the session. Really? Right? <laughs> it is not in the pathway yet. It's not. Oh, it's not in the pathway yet. So after the session. They do know songs. It's just not appropriate for the uh, TV audiences. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, Toby's gone all red because he knows a lot of songs, yeah. and they're not willing to share it with us. It's not TV friendly. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. Um, you know, all the best next year uh, for the, the for the tournament. Once again, the website for you to visit is www.bintangrugby.com. Every weekend at Astaka. Every Sunday, Every three Sunday. to five. Yeah. Every Sunday, three to, three five. to five. So it's open to anybody. Yeah. Anyone can turn out if you've got the interest and passion. There you go. Fantastic. So I don't know. You know, do you coach that?
No. No. I have to coach. You can, I think, can teach some, teach some songs, right? I, some decent these, songs. Uh, I'd rather be at the side with my umbrella and my can of Coke. <laughs> oh, you boring guy. You boring guy. Anyway. My can of Coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my green tea, rather. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I watch the boys and uh, play because uh, after a certain age, really, you just got to sit down. And I've been playing since I was only 10. Tend to like now <laughs> study over years, so it's it's it, it's painful. <laughs> come, and right. coach, come and coach the kids. <laughs> I know. You it, should it, impart yeah. all that knowledge, I mean, man. That's moving along. We're talking about yeah. yeah. this club. Yeah, come come by the padang on uh, Sunday. You can get to see the club and uh, how the parents are coaching, mm. how the parents are on the side. It's fantastic. You know, yeah. I was just looking at the pictures yeah. and then it's really, really young ones. Yes, they are. Yeah. Playing. So I think yeah. that's really good. Especially fantastic. when you like these kids, like the ball is bigger than they I are. I know, they're, they're running and they're trying to hold it. That's right. That's a challenge. Hold the ball. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much, guys. <laughs>